and war it is. In it, we're looking to unify Scandinavia. The Prussians decided to come in. We weren't able to sway the French, who had to have skirmisher, so we've decided to stack them high by bringing in the Russians and the Austrians. We have promised the Austrians Hamburg. We have promised the Russians a treaty port in Washington, as the Danes have a Canadian ally. So, it is Sweden, subject Norway, ally Netherlands, and Austria and Russia along for the ride. Against Denmark, ally Hamburg, subject Holstein, ally Canada, subjects Schleswig, ally Damoni. Anyway, we have... I'm quite surprised they didn't back down. We have the ability to field a thousand divisions combined on our side. They have less than 500. Now, apart from my 50, all of ours are not skirmisher. Apart from our, my units, all of ours are line. So we're pushing in quickly. Also just need to quickly check what's happening down here. So we've been attacked. No, that is the Sokoto Civil War. So we're being, the Hene has attacked our Benin position, active battle here, Russians have arrived as well. The addition of the Austrians and the Russians pulled the Prussians off the Dutch. So the Danes, the Danish allies have the upper hand here and are winning this battle. It's the power of the defensive general. Well, here come my forces. How do we keep track on this war? I haven't called up conscripts yet. There we go. That's my general pushing through the Holstein army. Free university, yes please. Prussians wrecking the Russians. My allies are not having a good time. But we are overrunning the the Danes, which is the war goal. And it looks like yeah, my colonial troops are being well, we've lost. I did, I did have a general out here. I'm ready to mobilize him. Okay. We have occupied most of Denmark now. Are we going to see some massive forces coming from Russia? Massive forces now coming from Austria as well. The Dutch are holding their own on this front. Battle here between the Austrians and the Prussians. So the Prussians are winning. Next battle. Russians routing Austrians. Routing. What's happening down here? Is my colony being overrun? There's Russians down here. Wow. The, there's dynamite. Should have researched this earlier. This is a war. Oh, look at this. We have pushed into, into the Prussian lands. Hanover hasn't been occupied yet, which is one of the war goals. I have a general here. Where are you based? Oh, you mumbo sticks. Join the attack. And the Danes have capitulated. With the Prussians. Oh, we're not out. Sorry. We're not done. Denmark is now mine. This war isn't over. We need to. Do we need to overrun Canada? Still at war with Russia? So now Canada is the war leader, is it? Okay. Well, Russia presumably is going to push in here. I assume this place. Presumably Prussia should dip. Okay, they're still holding their own in the east. Like they're getting wins against the advanced. I think they've advanced slightly into both territories. There you go. Hamburg gone. The Hamburg now is Austrian. And we continue to advance across the North German Confederation. Austrian 
got beaten. Oh, I'm about to lose a battle here. How do I dip? I've got my win, so they'll only take capitulation. The only thing to be done here is to invade Canada. This territory needs to be conquered. So this guy needs to finish this battle against the Canadians, which we're losing, actually. Now, what's happening now? Are we being pushed back or Brandon, the battle in Brandenburg? Do I need to go onto the defensive? So since Denmark's now my puppet, can they, are they now not in this war on my side now? Uh, we're getting pushed back. What's happened? Where's the... What's the state of play with the Russians? Oh, I think I'm going to have to mobilize. So the Canadians will accept peace. The Prussians have no interest in negotiating. The Austrians have gotten what they wanted. I've gotten what I wanted. I think we're dying over Danes who have already surrendered. My side have lost more guys. Look at this. We're only looking at 300,000 casualties here. And each of my, you know, Ru Austria had that alone. Plus then the, uh, the Russian losses. Canadians haven't suffered that much. Okay, so there still is sizable forces here that the Russians and Austrians are fielding. But they have a technology deficit. Yeah, I've got to mobilize to get more troops in. Everywhere apart from my capital. Let's raise conscripts. Oh, and then the uh, the Prussians dipped. Okay, so now we're just at war with Russia. Sorry, with uh, Canada. So we can just do a naval invasion to take the war goal. Where are we going into? Where's the Canadian capital? Oh, actually, no. I do need to invade. Okay. So, grab my navy. And we'll land in Quebec. And I have a second navy. Smaller. We got a national anthem. Plus 20 prestige. Have we landed? You have a hiss. Yeah, you're landing. There's the home gone. I think I can. Don't need the conscripts anymore. I think I started to activate them, but I think they weren't triggered. Have we landed? Here we go. We've landed. Yeah. Be very careful, guys. Hit Canada, not Great Britain. Okay. Russia's now starting to make advances in Yukon. Am I here now? What time of the year? It's May. We should be able to. Have we not been able to push in? Where are you? You are showing as still being in Europe. Well, military, navy, support, uh, landing here. Where's him? Should have landed closer to the Russians. Are we holding our own? Are we holding it? Are we holding the beach? Yes, we held the beach. This is the war goal. This is the end of the war here. Yeah, boom. So just mopping this up. All of Brunswick captured. The Russians didn't make much progress. The Russians are losing up here. But I've absolutely torn through the uh, the goal. Oh, we have negative. We're, we're ticking down as well, just from a cost. I need this to. I need this war to be over. Canada, you've lost. There we go. So, that was war in Victoria 3. Like a seven years war waged. Three continents, Africa, North America, and Europe. Canada and Prussia failed to deal with the mice of Sweden, Russia, and Austria, and the Netherlands. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed that.